Hey guys, it's Agustin Tilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos on AR Foundation. I'm going to be showing you how to select an object in augmented reality and then also displaying a UI canvas upon selection of the object. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing today, which is to instantiate a canvas as soon as we select an object. I'm also going to be adding a Unity event. And the reason that I'm doing this is because one of my subscribers asked me about making a AR, kind of like AR experience with a story. So what I wanna do is, so as soon as you click on one of these spheres, we're gonna be displaying a canvas. And then we can also launch that up on the selection of the Unity event. So. I'm going to be modifying some of the implementation that I have on the scene, which is called selection and overlay text. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into scenes and we're going to be cloning the scene. And for those who haven't seen the videos, make sure you watch the previous videos, which I give you examples of how the scenes work. And this is also available on GitHub, so you can download it and then test what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna rename this, and this is gonna be selection and launching a canvas. Let's just double click it, and then I'm also going, going to go to file, build settings, and then add this as an open scene. It's gonna put them in order. Let's just go ahead and put it right beneath the one that I cloned it from. So we can just do we can just do it this way. Let's just delete that one. All right, so we should we should be good to go. So now what I'm gonna do is make sure I have that one selected, which is the one that I have. And then the other thing that I need to do is if we go into AR session origin, I already have a script that I created to do to do something similar, but I'm going to be cloning it because I need to, I don't want to touch the one that we already work on, specifically for anybody that wants to test the previous scenes. So I'm just gonna call it placement and we can say in launching, launching canvas, launching canvas controller. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and copy that name, open VS Code or your preferred editor, and I'm just going to change that name. All right, so I think we should be we should be good to go here. And the other thing that I want to do is I had multiple objects in here, but I want to start I want to start simple. Let's go ahead and delete them all, and let's just do one for now. And then what I'm gonna do here is we're just gonna change this one to be just to do one. So it's gonna say placement object, it's just gonna be placement object. And then I'm going to also change the implementation here. So currently this is basically built for an array. So I'm just gonna change this a little bit. We're just gonna say, if we're ray casting and we're selecting an object, we have a placement object. I'm just going to say, grab the placement object and then set it to select it. So in this case, the selection happens. So it's gonna say true. And then I need to say active color so this is going to be the one that is active i also need to get the mesh render so i'm just going to do what i did below which is mesh render and then we can say placement object mesh render and we can get that from the placement object get component and then mesh render just like i did below excellent and now i can just assign that material so the other thing that i need to do is if we're ray casting so this means that uh, if something is selected if well if we get a hit meaning that it was selected then this is going to execute right so what i want to do is i also want to do an else so i'm going to do else here and this is when i try to do a touch but the ray cast didn't hit anything so this would happen if i didn't hit the sphere but i hit somewhere in the in ar that where there's not a sphere or an object so what I need to do now that I have this, I'm going to, so if you look up above, I have a placement object, right? But that one, it's instantiated already. If I go to the unity scene, this is this object. It's being instantiated because it's in the hierarchy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, you know what, grab that placement object, placement object. And then in this case, I'm gonna grab it from the place object and I'm gonna say get component, placement object. So now I have that, right? And we're gonna do exactly what we did here, except we're going to be checking for, we're going to actually set it to false and also change it to inactive color. 
because in this case we're not the rake has didn't hit anything so I'm just going to just going to do it that way so this means that I did select something this means nothing nothing selected so set the the sphere color to inactive I like to let write comments because I think it helps people understand what I'm doing okay so now I don't need to I don't need to do any of this this just means if I have an overlay we're gonna do something similar to this so I'm just going to let's go ahead and do this I'm just gonna copy that so we're gonna need to do something like that and but I don't want to do it here I want to do it right here when the selection is happening and in fact I'm gonna need to do something in here because I might want to hide the hide the actual UI so this is what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put it right here we do have a display overlay let me see if I have that yep which is a boolean and this we don't need to do this anymore because this was changing the selection okay and this is going to change to let me go ahead and add curly braces so it's easier to read and I'll show you what, I, what I'm doing here okay and I'm just going to do in here I'm going to do that as well okay so what this implementation means is if I have display overlay set to true which in this case is really not an overlay it's going to be a canvas so we can just say this is going to be let me go ahead and use the rename functionality and this is going to say display canvas and we're going to say let's just set it to true by default and yeah let's go ahead and because this this is what i'm building for the scene it's going to say okay i want to display a canvas upon selection of a sphere so i'm going to set that to true and then if you set it to false nothing will happen just the color of the spheres will change and then we're going to change this toggle overlay it's going to be actually toggle canvas and i think i have i think i have everything everything set correctly okay so so that works this is going to select the sphere we're going to set it to true if we have raycast we're going to set it to false if, it's, if there's no raycast changing the colors of the sphere and then we're going to toggle the canvas so we're going to need to add a new meta to the placement object and this one is going to be fairly you know fairly similar to that and this one is going to say toggle canvas and then we can add also a canvas here which let's see yep let's go ahead and just add it here and this is going to be and i'm just thinking about as i'm building this how this is going to work because we're going to need to we're going to need to add some text as well i want to see some text so what i'm going to do here instead of doing a canvas i'm just going to say game object and i'm going to show you why so this is going to be canvas component let's just go to canva compo component because it's going to have multiple objects inside and okay so i think that it's good i think that's good there and then okay perfect and then what i'm gonna do is this is gonna be serializable i'm gonna have to keep track of the actual canvas so i'm going to do one that is not serializable and this one i'm going to make it a, a real canvas this one is going to be the actually this is going to be canvas component this one we can call it canvas game object or, or actually it's going to be the prefab so we're just going to know that that's the prefab and this is going to be the canvas so the next thing that i need to do is i need to check to make sure that i haven't instantiated the canvas yet so we're going to grab the canvas game object and we're going to say we're just going to do an if if canvas game object is not null so that means that it's going to tell us that the user who is setting this placement object wants to use the canvas for displaying you know open selection so i'm just going to say if it doesn't equal to null then i know that that's going to happen and also if the canvas component let me just grab that canvas component equal equal null so this means that the canvas game object you know the user wants to select it the canvas component is null so i need to instantiate this guy so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to say canvas game object instantiate and let me just go ahead and instantiate and we're going to grab the canvas game object and i'm going to tell it a vector for the position so that's something that i really i also want to use so we're going to need to tell the system where we want to place it so i'm just going to say vector three and then canvas position and for you know as a default we can just set it to to vector zero just start it right there 
and then I'll just do serializable fill. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that position and the quaternion, this is the rotation that of that object. I'm just going to set it to identity. So we don't need to rotate anything just yet. So, so this is great. We created a, you know, we created a canvas game object. Now we need to set the component. So we're just going to say, get the component. Actually, not of that, the component of the canvas game object. If I can type it correctly, get component. And what I'm going to do is I need to get, I need to get the actual canvas. So we're just going to pull the canvas and I'm going to set it to this. And if you look at it, this is, you know, of tight canvas, so this should work. It's going to get the component, set the component. And now that we have that, we can do the toggle, right? We can just say, we can just say, okay, if the, so, so remember, this is not going to go, this is, we never want to toggle if the, if the canvas component is null. So what I'm going to do, if, if we never get into this if statement, I want to, want to make sure that this never goes through. So I'm just going to say canvas. We can do it this way or we can do it another way. I can show you. Actually, let's do it. Let's do it this other way. I'll show you how. We can just grab the canvas component, game object, and then we can just do a nullable operator. That way, if this is null, then we don't, you know, we don't throw exceptions. And then I'm also going to do, and this is if we want to, if you want to change the text. I don't want to change the text. So this should work. If the object is selected, we're going to be set, you know, basically displaying the canvas. Otherwise, we won't be displaying the canvas. And I think we have, I think we have everything that we need. Excellent. And yep. So let's go back into our placement and launching canvas controller. So we're gonna call different method. This is gonna be toggle, and it's gonna be the canvas. And then we're also gonna do the same thing here. I think I have everything that we need. So we're going to have to create a new placement object that has a canvas. So I'm just going to go back into Unity. And I already have this object that is large, right? So I'm going to be, let's go ahead and unpack it. And then go into our prefabs, make sure that I have it in there. This one is going to be place object large with canvas. And then I'm also going to be making a couple of changes in here. So if you look if you look at it it doesn't have right now there's no canvas game object so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to create that and then i also don't have a canvas position which is okay and then i think the overlay i think the overlay is fine we can leave it there and okay so what i'm going to do is we're going to need a canvas so i'm just going to go ahead and clone this one and i'm going to be this one is going to be place object canvas Excellent, and we're gonna have to change the canvas from render mode from the screen space overlay to world space because we're gonna have to be treating it in world space. And then I'm also going to be changing this to 000. Now we see everything black. We're gonna have to scale these down quite a bit. So it's gonna be 0 0.001, 0 001, and then 0, 0, 001 right there. I think we need to be, I think we need to go smaller than that actually. So let's do, I think let's do let's do zero nine or zero five. Okay, let's go ahead and because we're dealing with meters, remember, so that needs to be really tiny. Okay, and then this one is offset by a little bit. Let's go ahead and change that offset so that it's not that far. And then I'm just going to offset it as well. So what we can do is we can offset it and then change it independently. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to be changing this and basically placing it inside. And we can just do it that way. And we set it as 000. I think that's okay. Perfect. And I think I have everything, everything that we need. So we're gonna need an offset, right? So we could either do an offset and then set it ourselves programmatically, or I could just you know leave it where it is and I can just say, you know, show it, and then we don't have to dynamically instantiate it. So I think I'm gonna do that just to keep sim things simple. What I'm gonna do is just basically place it. Let's just go ahead and place it right there. That way we don't need to we don't need to worry about what I just did. So I think we're okay there and perfect. So the place the place object canvas is going to be associated with a canvas game object. The overlay text we don't need the overlay text in this case. I'm going to be showing that canvas. And then in this case, I'm going to change the title. This is going to be, we can just say selection, let's say 
selection and launching demo. We can just say, I like to do that, that, that. And then we can keep a title in there if we wanted to, instructions actually. And we can just say, we can add the instructions in there. For To be honest, I'm just gonna say this is, this is just text testing instructions something like that i don't need to we can just do it a couple of times so we can see it okay so that should be good we can have a title we can have maybe this is called description and then basically this is just you know different components on a ui that you can use and then this is going to be let's say some action some action it doesn't really need to be anything just yet we're going to be expanding this so it's going to get even it's going to get better okay so i think we have everything that we need in there one thing that i need to change let's go back in here to the placement object and let's not let's not do anything dynamically just yet and and i like to keep things simple because we're going to need to we're going to need to do a lot of more things later on that we can add to complicate things but for now let's just keep it simple so i'm just going to remove that game object and we're just gonna use the canvas property and then let's just serialize it. All right, so I think we're good and let's just go ahead and move it up. Anytime we're dealing with objects in AR, it's really hard to test and which is why I try to keep things as simple as we can. And what we can do is let's just do it this way. That way we don't have to worry about instantiation of setting anything so that we can do that later once we get things working. All right, so I think I think we're good there. And okay, so perfect. So let's go back in here and let's see what we have. So there we go. So we have a placement object. We have the properties for locking. We also have the new canvas component, which we need to associate. So let's go ahead and add it. And that's gonna be the place object canvas. I think we're I think we're good, except we're going to be. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uncheck this. So that by default we don't see it perfect and then i think we're good to go all right so let's go back in here i'm going to need to add a new script this is going to be the one that we just created so i'm just going to add it and then let's look at some of the implementations so we're going to need the we're going to need to add some references that we're missing we're going to need the ar camera we're going to be needing the dismiss button from the panel so let's make sure that we add that and the welcome panel as well which i have here and i think i'm just just looking at the previous one just to make sure that we're not missing anything panel panel and then we're going to need a placement object right we're going to need to actually create this placement object so what we're going to do well we don't need to create it we need to reference it so i'm just going to drag it and drop it here so that's going to be reference and i think we are good to go and active color is going to be red inactive color it's going to let's just change the inactive color let's do something cooler let's do maybe some green just so that it differs from the previous you know from the previous video display canvas we're just going to have that and then i'm just going to remove this other component and i think we should be good to go i'm just looking at everything else and i think we're, we should be okay so I think I'm going to keep it as simple as this and then we can, you know, if we want to add more functionality later on, I'm going to. So what I wanted to do really is I want to add a unity event as well that it's going to be executed upon selection of the buttons that are in the canvas. We can keep a button in the canvas and then do some kind of action. So I think for now, I don't I don't want to keep it. I, I want to keep it simple. So we're just going to leave it that way and let's go ahead and go to file build settings and then I already have that scene selected so I'm just gonna go to build and I'm gonna put it in my desktop this is not the superpowers this is going to be selection and launching canvas and it's gonna hit save and hit save so I'm gonna hit save and then I'm gonna show you how it works all right guys so i got this running on my device and i have a little video to show you so i'm gonna hit play you can see that i can see the sphere i'm gonna dismiss and then the i'm walking back a little bit so that you can see when i select the object so if i select the object here's the canvas that is associated with the object you can also see that the sphere is changing colors i show you how we could do an active and inactive mode 
by making changes to the way that the placement object is selected and then also how I can toggle the canvas. So that's everything that I wanted to show you today, guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you much for watching today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.